this question is for both uh, Andy and Lee. So you you both you know have shared that you have made a decision to not do full service. Now, Andy, I know you said it's because you're lazy, but is there any more to the reason <laughs> you decided ag against it? Um, I think you you kind of um, share that you you want more of a work life balance, and maybe that was a driving yeah, factor. Well, you know, I had. I often thought about doing like a subcontractor and I just never found the right person. I did have a, a retired person, but she even retired from doing that. She would do like occasionally we get like, I'll get phone calls when like I call them work guys come into town and work at the local nuclear plant or wherever. They're just in town for like maybe a month or two and they're working a lot and they want their laundry done. And she was doing it for them. Like I would just refer and then, she was just putting the quarters in the machine and I would make my money that way, but, and then she would charge them whatever. And they were but to have somebody do it like that, you know, would be great. Or if I didn't have to, you know, but, uh, if they're coming from the other businesses and stuff where it was so much hands on, like the pizza shop, the liquor store, nights, holidays, weekends, I was looking for something that afford me a little more freedom. Like this morning, I decided I'm going to go visit my dad in Cape May. For an institute there for a couple of days, and my wife will cover the laundry mat. Me and my son are going to go down to my dad for a couple of days. So, but I mean, you can do things like that. You know, tomorrow yeah. I want to go fishing, tomorrow I want to go hunting, or whatever. You know, I have trouble getting out of town for a longer period of time because I'm too important, I guess. You know, collecting the money and, you know, unclogging the drains and fixing this washer and that washer, mm -hmm. whatever. I'm not. So it's really like, with three laundromats now, it's really a full-time job. And uh, I just never yeah, had the to add more to it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm working every day. My family just thinks I walk, I ride around and collect quarters. So that's, <laughs> that's a big family joke. But, but every day I'm out there, you know, doing whatever I have to do to keep the place running. So, and that's just yep. enough. I'm content with that. Let's just say that. OK. Good. That's great. Um, so, Lee, what about uh, you, your family, I guess, or, or maybe you and Luke, you, you made a decision to not do it, and I'm sure there's a good reason why. Yeah, so trade-offs are a part of running a business, and uh, it's just a decision that we have made. Uh, we put our uh, energy efforts, all of our resources into serving our target customer um, as well as we can. And so our objective is to make sure that all the resources that we have go towards serving that person um, at a level that they did not anticipate. And once they become part of the Wash House family, that they will continue to experience that high level um, of customer experience. Um, but with trade-offs, yeah, you know, it's you get a little bit more of this for a little bit less of that. And so Quality of life is also something that uh, we value, and uh, Luke and I are both fathers. Um, we're uh, heavily involved with our, our church and community, and so we enjoy having the time that we have dedicated to those things um, to be able to um, use our personal resources uh, for that. Um, but there are soft calls that we found during a pilot program. So we, we did a wash, draft, fold, pick up and delivery uh, pilot about eight years ago, and there, there wasn't the technology back then that there is now, um, which I think is why we see this, you know, growth in wash, dry, fold, pick up and delivery. Um, and so adding that business into our model, um, during, after that pilot, we discovered it just wasn't a very good fit. And um, it adds, there are just soft costs that I think a lot of operators endure. Kathy's shaking her head. You know, it's just a part of the business. It's hard to put it on paper. And it's hard to, you know, say exactly what it is. Um, but we take no responsibility over any of our, our customers. We serve about 15,000 customers' households um, a week. And so we don't take on any of their belongings. You know, they bring them in. Uh, we provide a, a clean, safe, comfortable environment for them to process those things. And uh, then they fold them themselves or don't fold them. A lot of people don't fold their clothes up and then go home and put them, uh, put them away or keep them in a basket. And that's where they find it the next time they want to wear it. Uh, so it is, it's just a trade-off. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's just a trade-off that we have um, come, become comfortable with. 
And uh, it has allowed us really to focus again on that target customer and grow in different areas um, of our footprint and expand our footprint uh, by choosing to focus on that customer and taking the model that we have made and replicating it in, uh, in new and different locations.